Hey. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to try out my new camera now this time. And what we're going to do first, I'm going to put some liquid clear onto this. Just at the top, because we'll do the sky and then uh, it'll probably take me a while to do that, so we'll just get the uh, some liquid clear. Very thin, very thin amount. So I just dipped it in and I'm just going to wipe off any excess there and then there we go. I'm going to get that liquid clear right on there. Oh, you can see from both sides. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just get a very little amount more. Do, 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 do. Drip, 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 drip. Stripping away into the, into the tin there. And to even around it all, yeah. And this, we're just putting this on so that when uh, we put our under, under colours on our transparent colours, we don't need to use as much of them. And we'll come on a lot easier to slide right on. Because before I had the clear and I, I used black, black canvases. When you put in the transparent colours on, it was considerably harder to just use that scrubby tin. It was okay, it's just fine, nothing wrong with doing that, but it's far better than we have this nice thin coat. And what I'm even going to do is take a two inch brush and just come on with the brush there. Okay. To get any, uh, come across to get any of the excess that's, that's on the, what we don't want. We don't want too much. If we have too much then it gets, it gets out of control. Alright, so I'll put the lid back on this. I'm not sure where to look now. <laughs> Let's look over there. Am I? Am I looking? Am I looking at you now? Hey. Alright. I'll, uh, Oh, it's focusing on my face. I can see on the LCD screen it's all square around me. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Now then. Let's put these on. Let's, let's, let's. Midnight Black. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear it? It's a little bit runny. A little bit runny, that. It'll be fine. It's better if it's firmer, but we don't mind in a bit of thale or blue. Right, said Fred. Which brush shall we use to put this on? Tell you what, we'll use the one inch. Uh, yeah, we'll use the one inch brush again. Shall we? No, we'll use we'll use the two inch brush, and then we can always clean it. So this is all runny. Then I'll just dab a bit of that up. I'm putting it onto the clear anyway, but I don't want it everywhere. Okay, so just a bit. And just a bit. A bit more black. Uh, more, more of the black though than the blue, because on this we're going to go for a... While it's a black canvas, it'll be nice and easy to do a, a nighttime scene, a wintry nighttime scene. So, uh, I'm going to just, just load the brush up fully there. And then just everywhere. It's going to be very hard for you to see. In fact, you know, I can't see anything, so you can't. But it's it's going on there. Just now. And it will get in some black and blue colour on there. It's like a kind of a greyish tone to it. So, thalo blue and black. And this is, this is how we prepare. This is how we prepare. I don't know how to look anymore. Okay, this is how we prepare our canvas. Pale blue, Prussian blue, and then crimson, all these are transparent colours. Midnight black, sap green, Indian yellow is a really nice transparent colour to use. It makes some wonderful sunsets with that. Just gonna get the bits on the sides here, just we decide to paint the sides. And that's that. I think we should. Well it's only a small canvas. I think this is uh well, normally it's 24 by 18, but this is, this is smaller. 18 by something or other. <laughs> Alright. Is that even? I think that'll do for us. Let's 
so let's let's let the magic happen. I'll tell you what. We'll use today the one inch brush. I'm gonna open this. Da -da -da. And where's my knife? Here it is. Right. Do -do -do -do. Let's, let's get some of this lovely titanium white. I'm sure this lid's not working properly. <laughs> Seems to be uh, a dry layer on top there. Oops, sorry if that was too loud. Uh, unless of course you were like, oh that was a very very sexy sound. I like that one. Alright, okay. Perhaps I shouldn't use the word sexy when uh, when I'm to enjoy some of stuff because a lot of people get upset about that. It'll be fine, it's okay. We know, you know what I'm on about, so it's okay. Alright. There we go, got some titanium white on. Yes, 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 relax, it's okay. Everything's gonna be alright. I don't even know what that song is. Maybe part of the reason is because I'm not putting the lid back on properly. Could be, could be. Right, could be, that's. Put it back on shell, isn't it? Crazy lady, is that thing? Hello. What about if I come over to this side? Apparently, it accepts stereo sound, so if I come around like this, it should make different sounds. Panic. Right, now then, now that we've got that sorted, in this painting, we'll flip, flip uh, titanium white all over brass clothes. And then, we'll have a moon somewhere. Some kind of moon that we're on. Some kind of moon. Maybe we'll have two moons. We don't know what planet we're on. This is, this is our world. Our world, our world. Whichever you are. Right, so, the rule of thirds. Then we'll have it about uh, ish. It doesn't matter. We'll just come around here and then we'll walk out and Maybe needed more black, but we've done it now, so it's fine. What is that noise? Okay, that's, oh, that's lovely. Look at that, though. Put the white on there, and as we go further out, it's picking up this black and blue colour, so it's getting darker as we go further out. That is not a nice sound, is it? Or maybe it is, maybe it's absolutely brilliant and you love it. Maybe you love that sound. And I'm just being silly. Maybe it's your favourite sound in the whole world. Something that needs oil anyway. Right, enough. Enough of that nonsense. Right, let's get, let's get, let's clean this brush a bit so I can't fix this off. Come back in with a lovely white colour. More titanium. And then we'll come back in the same place there. It's night time, but we still want it to be considerably bright. Hmm. I'm going to go outwards again. I'm going to take a little more of the right to colour and pull that to, to the middle there. Right here. And now around these edges, I want them to be darker. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to pull in colour from those.
Hello again. Hey. Rightio. Clean the brushes. And what I'm going to do, because I want it darker in the corners, and I didn't have enough black on at the beginning, I'm just going to just going to put a bit in and cheat a little bit. That's all right. What matters is we're having fun and what, what it turns out to be eventually. Side where we want our clouds, we will work around our moon. And to do that, we'll be especially sneaky today. We'll do some finger painting. It's always fun, isn't it? Where do you want it? That seems a bit brighter around this area, so we'll have him there. Just run it around in a circle. And Bob's your uncle. There you go. Nice little moon. Wipe my finger. Okay. Now then, we've got our fan brush here. I'm just going to do some rocking motions. Actually, first of all, I'll get a nice fluffy one. Where's the fluffy one? Oh, it's coming in circles easier. Oh, there's quite a bit of blue in this. It'll be okay. It's okay, we don't mind. Okay, and then we can do the rocking ones here above this. And then we come back in with our highlights because we'll, we'll put some moonshine on these. We can get a little bit more definition happening. I'm going to come back and get some more paint. Going right into the black and blue mixture I had there. Pulling a bit more black down because I picked up a bit there. I want this to be darker. There we go. There, that's better. There's more contrast between everything happening. And maybe there's a cloud there. Maybe he does that. He does. He does now. So. If you were telling me, oh, he doesn't do that, well, it's tough. He's already doing it. I don't know what camera I'm supposed to be mixing the paint on here, but... So. It'd kind of, be, kind of be going in the same sort of motion. Just makes it look a little nicer, brings it together a bit better. More, more paint on the fan brush. Just gently come around there so it blends into the other colours a bit. Probably some over here. So the lower we get, the farther the right. The clouds are maybe we'll just not have to have some trees there, but for now, for now, I'll put them in because they look nice. Little 
distant clouds escaping over the horizon. Oh, did you see that? Very nice work. something similar so if you're doing this just put your clouds whichever direction you want or however you want and whichever colour you want but as long as you've got the right idea with the, uh, the liquid clear on first and then the colour because my clouds I'm sure you could do you could do better composition on your clouds than I can and that's great so, you put your clouds wherever you want them. There we go. Get some colour in there. Bit, bits of colour here. Just for colour's sake. Alright, here we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to Hunt down this, right? Well, some of you ask him to clean it like Bob Ross, so there you go. <laughs> Hold on, let's, 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 let's. Just soften our moon a touch. Is he disappearing? Well, we can put him back later if he disappears, which he probably will. Ooh, right, well, let's blend the bottom of this one a bit. Pulling off any of that extra excess paint there. I know I didn't really blend the sky too much behind there, but if you want to, when, once you've put the white on, you can uh, come across and blend it to any degree that you want. If not, that's fine too, whichever you are happy with. Take off that excess, there we go. All your hostilities whoosh, vanished. All vanished. These are very gentle, gentle strokes. Stroking gently in the same. That looks very soft there. Very nice soft nighttime evening sky. Who knows what time of day it is? Whatever you think it looks like. And then there's the, the moons here shining about. I'm gonna take a clean clean fan brush. And I'm just gonna go into titanium white. And there's a there's a bit of blue and black that was left in the titanium down there. Maybe I'll add just a touch of halo blue there. And a dot. A dot. Another dot of the black. Okay. There we go. Where is our black? Is that it? There. I want, want to grey it a little. Uh, we'll just keep just keep until we get the right. Okay, there it is. And then we'll go into our white. Okay, just a touch more. There. That's what we're looking after. And then we'll come in the top of this cloud. And we'll just do some circles on it. Put some eye like there. Maybe wherever the moon is hitting this cloud, wherever you see it hitting. And on this, this one here. So, and it's going to be underneath on these ones, isn't it? So. Oh yeah, nice. 
taking quite a bit of that colour underneath. indications of the light hitting. Don't want to kill all the cloud area in the dark. Just bits of it. We just want to kill bits of it. Well, you know what I'm saying. It's okay. Okay, where's our... Where's our, our sun? <laughs> where's our sun? Where's our moon shining? Take a little more of this bright colour. So that I can shine up the bottom of this because I'm still not happy with how it's turning out. In fact, what we'll do, we'll just soften that a little. Da -da -da, and then we'll come back with our dark. Clouds up here. Put some highlight on them. Moon's going to be hitting them as well. Maybe it's actually hit a bit of that one too. Uh, oh, fantastic! I don't want to go too much there because it's going to be a bit darker as we go around. There's not there's not light everywhere. So going to be some light blocked by other clouds. No, that's nice and dry. I'm going to very gently whisper across the canvas. Whisper, whisper. And this bit may be a little, a little tougher. A little tougher because I want the angle to be influenced there. Okay. Top of any excess we get. Ok, 
looking all the moonlit sky and this wonderful into I can see a little bit that needs just need a little a little edit. And he lives there. And then a bit dark. A bit more dark, a bit more dark. Right, I don't want to do that. Right, yeah. Maybe this one here. Just the circles on him. Hey, eh? what do you think about that? Wow, quite a messy, messy sky, that. Right? It's all right, the winter will be nice, I think. We'll put our, uh, our moon back in. Let's get some finger painting going on again. Where was he? There he was. Maybe I'm going to overdo it a little, maybe, maybe not. Where's my one inch brush? Is that clean and dry? It isn't. Hey on, hey on. Just for now. We'll, we'll use a round brush, we'll cheat a little and we'll blend it with a round brush. Save me washing that brush all over again. There we go. Yes. I've got some nice bristles on this brush, so we can do that. Light's not perfect on this painting, but it's okay. I'm sure you'll be able to do one better than me. You can have a go at it and take a little longer doing your lighting and stuff. I'm trying to get someone before uh, to show you this new camera before before it runs out of uh, well, it, it, it lasts 29 minutes, it says. Before it gets too hot. So that's, that's nice. That'll keep me on task. I could have gone for a cam car, but uh, I wanted to take photos too. And I liked all the uh, stuff that came with this one. Oops, that was quite light. Crazy sky. <laughs> I'm sure we could do much more to that. Clouds everywhere, but that'll do. Well, we'll do more next time, maybe. Different shapes and things. So, I'll, I'll survive on this camera. So, thank you very much for joining me. I hope it was relaxing for you. And I hope this camera's. Uh, doing its thing and showing you some things happening. Well, I'm going to go over here and oh, we're zooming in. So, oh, pressing buttons. Okay. There's the moon. Alright. Well, I'll see you next time.
see you next time and we'll put some trees in and nice frosty evergreens I think and a hut and some snow yeah that's what we'll do all right thank you very much I said thank you about 17 times but this is okay So I'll get the moons here, so the brightest ones are going to be... Oh.